Quick revision video comparing the reactivities of benzene and phenol. So starting with benzene, the pi electrons in benzene are delocalized, so they're shared between more than two atoms, and in the case of benzene, they're shared between all six carbon atoms. That gives it a low electron density. So for example, when they reacted with nitric acid, benzene needs a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid, and it needs to be at 50 degrees C to generate the NO2 plus the nitronium ion electrophile. When benzene is reacted with bromine, it needs a halogen carrier catalyst to generate the Br plus electrophile. So you can obviously see from that, benzene is quite unreactive. So moving on to phenol now, the lone pair of electrons from the oxygen p orbital from the hydroxyl group, that becomes delocalized into the pi electron cloud of the benzene ring. That increases the electron density, so effectively you've got eight pi electrons now rather than just six. The increased electron density means that electrophiles are attracted more strongly to phenol, and so therefore phenol reacts with dilute nitric acid at room temperature. And in the case of phenol and bromine, it reacts with bromine without the need for a catalyst. So you can see benzene is far less reactive than phenol.